When you see the headline, yeah. photographer captures leopard eating a crocodile mm-hmm. in a tree, <laughs> I'm interested. Yeah, that's, that's I want to bait. see that. Yeah. I'd be more interested if it said photographer captures crocodile eating leopard in a tree. <laughs> that would be, that much would be something. Yeah. Yeah. Before we get into this, I, I could have sworn, didn't you actually film... A jaguar eating a caiman? Oh, it was yeah. a jaguar eating a caiman up in a tree, though. Like, dragged no, it up No, it dragged it up a hill. You should pull that oh, up, that Kyle. It's got hill. 36 million views on my TikTok. So what, so, I That's mean... That's an insane number I don't, of people. I know nothing about TikTok. I don't even know, is that good? I mean, I think it's good. I don't really know much <laughs> about it either, but it sounds like a it's lot. It's a tenth of the population of the United States have right, watched have this watched video. Have watched that video. That's an insane statistic. So, so uh, now is is this more impressive? Your video right here, Forrest? No, than- this. So, okay, absolutely not. First of all, so <laughs> it's not because in the Pantanal where I filmed this on Jessica's iPhone. This is a common occurrence where the, the it's the place that people go to see jaguars attacking and eating caiman. Wow. Um, okay. Granted, I got a really, really good video. Yeah. But Looks um, nice. compared to a, a leopard in sub-Saharan Africa with a Nile crocodile up a tree, that is a rarity. That's a decent sized crocodile. It's obviously not a massive one, but it's it's a yeah. pretty big croc. How big would you say that is? Uh, based on the size of a leopard, it's probably seven feet, six, seven feet. And Damn. Ten. These pictures are incredible. Yeah, these are fucking cool. Yeah. So where was, sorry, where was this taken here? Uh, it's got to be in Southern Africa. Kenya. Kenya. Oh, never mind. Yeah. Okay. There you yeah. go. So, so this guy, it, I mean, this leopard has taken this croc up into the tree just so it can enjoy its meal alone and in solitude. Yeah. So leopards always do that. Whether that. they're that's a great photo. That's amazing. Yeah. Wow. Whether whether they're killing an impala or yeah. uh, anything else. What's unusual about this is not the behavior. One, the photos are fantastic. That's yeah, the main thing. For sure. But two is the fact that you're seeing a leopard that killed, successfully killed and is now trying to covet this crocodile because that's what's unusual. In Africa, unlike in the Pantanal with, with the jaguars, in Africa, leopards don't often choose to prey on crocodiles. It's okay. too dangerous. Yeah, if you're a yeah. leopard, you go down the water, you drink, you get the hell out of there as quickly as you can because... Yeah. A crocodile, and on the flip side of this, Kyle, maybe find a video of a cro- Nile crocodile attacking a leopard. Happens all the time. No thanks. Yeah. I don't want to um, watch it. <laughs> but in this instance, what probably happened is that that leopard found the crocodile in a small pan or cruising over the ground. Yeah. Those are cheetahs. God, people are stupid. Um, <laughs> is that a cheetah? Uh, that is a cheetah as well. That yeah. is a jaguar. That's a cheetah. Yeah, so so it's so it it's common really for these crocs to take whatever's yes, dipping but their it's nose not, in the it's water. It's not common to see an African leopard eat a crocodile, so that's pretty cool. So I wonder if the croc was like came up out of the water a little bit, and then was headed back, and it got it by the tail. Yeah, traveling over land could be in a small pan. You know what we call a pan, which is like a puddle, basically, like yeah. a seasonal puddle. Um, yeah. So so uh, if if the croc was over land, that it's done. Is that? Oh, yeah. A leopard yeah. would have every advantage. The now, agility. that's a leopard there, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. I mean, what Bro. an absolute killing machine. Leopards? Just yeah, they're I, both of them. They're super agile and quick. What was that Stocky. one that we, we wrote that show? It was a Chumbawat? No, that was the tiger. Yeah. Well, remember the man-eating leopard in India that would stalk the rooftops? The leopard rooftops? of Rudraprag? Rudraprag? That sounds about Rudraprag? right. Yeah. Rudprayag, I think. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. 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 There's a bunch of famous man. Yeah. Rud- Rudprayag. There it is. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So what's this story? Uh, this this. Uh, oh, the guy went out there and <laughs> yeah. yeah, he. There killed- was a Jim Corbett, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah, Jim Corbett, right. who Patrick and I both love, um, went out and killed this man-eating leopard that in India killed 125 people. So wild, man. That's a lot of people. Oh, absolutely. Like imagine, like if you were a guy in the war with a gun, right, and you killed 125 people, you would be seen as like the most badass war hero ever. This is a kitty cat. <laughs> 